Hey, how's it going everyone? Today, I'm gonna teach you guys um, how to hook up a subwoofer to your car um, by just using a power inverter. A 100 watt amplifier, uh, you know, this is not really for, for, for the car, but this is just an experiment. So I'm just gonna show you what my experiment is. And then, of course, you're gonna need a a power inverter, at least a 500 watt. But in this case, I'm using a 750 watt pure sine wave. You're gonna need a 10 foot uh, cigarette lighter plug to the socket of your car. And at least a 10 foot um, 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cord, which is gonna go to your car's auxiliary. And a Bluetooth receiver with a RCA out going to your amplifier and the 3.5 which is gonna to go to your car's auxiliary. And remember guys, this does not work with your car stereo. You will hook this up directly to your phone, uh, tablet, or laptop. And I'll show you guys the finished product when I get everything installed. So we're inside my car and as you can see, I'm just using my stock stereo. Nothing aftermarket. And inside my armrest uh, here, we have the cigarette lighter socket and the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary. And 10 feet, like I told you guys, which I wire under my uh, feet to the seat. And then here's my power inverter, which is plugged in here. And this one is for the Bluetooth receiver. This is a double socket, and then I'm going to run the wire to the Bluetooth receiver, and then RCA cable going to the amplifier, and the amplifier going to the subwoofer. So I'll hook it up, and um, I'll show you guys how it sounds like. Okay guys, so I got everything uh, hooked up, and it sounds really good. But just remember, the power inverter will get kind of warm. And you'll probably be hearing the fan so most of you guys will probably you know close the, the back seat up but in this case i like to leave the seat down because i don't really have any uh passengers besides just uh, me and my wife and sometimes my kids too but you know right now they're driving their own cars so yeah all in all i say it sounds pretty good but you know depending on what kind of setup you guys have uh, if you guys are, you know, pushing more than uh, 500 watts, I recommend you guys hook up the cables directly to your car battery uh, instead of your cigarette lighter port because it could be hazardous. And I wouldn't recommend you guys to run it longer than, you know, half an hour. After half an hour, I shut it off and let the power inverter cool down. So yeah, hope you guys like it and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.